Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope your day is going really well. And this video is a preview of some new features coming in Luminar 4 later this fall. Skyloom just announced that there are two new tools that are going to be included. You've previously heard me talk about AI sky replacement and AI structure, and those videos I'll put up here. But the two new tools are specifically for portrait photographs and portrait photographers. And while I, that may not be me, um, I have spent some time taking some portraits and I'm working on trying to get better at that uh, aspect or genre of photography because I, I just like photography and I want to be, you know, comfortable with uh, lots of different parts of it, if you will. So the two new tools announced are AI Skin Enhancer and Portrait Enhancer. Now, before we jump into that, I want to just pause and say, if you're curious about Luminar 4, a few things to know. Number one, it is a paid upgrade and it's not a free product. So if you have Luminar 3 or 2018 or Flex or whatever, it's effectively a replacement for those products and it is a paid upgrade. Um, it will work as a standalone or a plugin and the library component will be optional. So for those of you curious about that, hopefully that answers those questions. Um, now during the pre-order period, which is going on right now, the price is currently $69 for a copy for a new user and $59 for an upgrade uh, for a user that, uh, uh, somebody that already has a copy of a previous version of Luminar. You can get any of that and find out more at the link down below. And just to clarify, that is an affiliate link. So if you use that, um, I will make a small commission if you buy anything. Help support me and I keep providing you guys videos. Good trade and by the way, your cost is the same whether you use my link or not. So thanks for the support. Let's get into the tools. Okay, as I said, there are two new tools. The first one is called AI Skin Enhancer. The second is called Portrait Enhancer. And what I have are some sample images. I do not have the product, so I can't um, you know, show it. Uh, but as soon as I can, believe me, I will. Um, even with portraits, I'm, I'm taking more so that I can uh, continue to uh, make videos about these things because I find it very cool. Um, but AI Skin Enhancer and Portrait Enhancer to me are really cool because in the past, I think a lot of portrait photographers have spent you know, sometimes a little bit of time and sometimes a lot of time doing complicated selections and masks and all that in order to identify the face and make adjustments. So whether you're shooting headshots or, you know, weddings or some kind of portrait session or events, um, it's often required a lot of work. But these tools are, you know, human aware and face aware and they work incredibly well from what I can tell. And so you're saving a lot of time and they're even saying, hey, you can edit a portrait photo in 60 seconds. And so, um, Wow, like, you know, I think wedding photographers, event photographers, headshot, uh, things like that, people are going to be pretty excited about that stuff. So let's jump into it. Um, here's some sample photos. And so there's two tools, as I said, AI Skin Enhancer. And what that does is primarily um, it removes blemishes in the skin, which could be like acne, uh, freckles, uh, things like that, moles or whatever. Um, it also smooths out the skin. However, it is a sliding scale. So like, for example, um, if you're taking a photo of someone and they have freckles, you don't want to remove all of them. So you can adjust the intensity of that because it would be a sliding scale. My daughter, for example, has freckles. I don't want to try to remove them. It's part of, make, uh, of what makes her who she is. And that's what she looks like. So um, as you can see here, um, speaking of freckles, you can see that this skin here, um, some of the freckles have been reduced. The pores in the uh, skin are still there and um, lips are enhanced and all that. So uh, plus the skin's been smooth, right? So let me get back that, that back to full screen. Let me go to the next one. We'll just kind of jump through some of these. So that's AI Skin Enhancer. Now AI, excuse me, Portrait Enhancer. It's not called AI Portrait Enhancer. It's just called Portrait Enhancer. And that's the second filter. And I've got to look at this because honestly, there's a lot of stuff in here, a lot of sliders and um, it's going to have face aware lighting. It's going to have eye improvement. It's going to have dark circle removal. It's going to have red eye um, uh, removal, face contouring. We'll talk about that in a minute. Eye enlargement, eyebrow enhancement, and lip and teeth enhancement. That's a lot of stuff. And the beauty is it's human aware or face aware. So it's detecting your face and apparently doing a great job of this stuff. So let's zoom in here. Um, so Let's just see, um, that's probably a little too close. Um, you can see, still have pores in the skin 
And uh, but you know some of the redness and some of the poor visibility has been reduced. Some smoothing happening here. Um, you know that's a little bit over smooth there, and um, it's a little splotchy. So maybe not a perfect job there. But also you probably wouldn't zoom in that close. Um, but one of the things I think that's really cool is it's noticed that that's the edge of where the skin stops and where the hair begins. And so even though it's smoothed out, which is basically kind of blurring, even though it's smoothed out the skin. It didn't do anything to the hair, so I think that's really cool. Um, obviously, some intelligence at work there, so um, I think that's pretty awesome. Let's check out another one. Same thing, right? Um, pores have been reduced, and some of the blemishes on the skin are reduced, and the skin is smooth. This is a lip and eye enhancement. As far as I can tell, the whites of the eyes look uh, brighter, and the lips look redder. Also notice, once again, there's the hair. It didn't just completely blur the hair. Even that strand of hair that's coming across her eye, it seems to have recognized those things and um, you know, taken that into consideration. Um, here's one that with it's, yeah, face-aware lighting. If you look at the lighting in this gentleman, um, the lighting on that right-hand side is improved, I think. Uh, and that happens a lot, right? Depending on the lighting conditions that you're shooting in, um, you may have a... A darker face especially if you don't have like a you know a, a flash or something like where you're bouncing light off off of uh, something onto uh, onto your subject um, this is doing a really good job of that face aware lighting I think that's awesome skin has been smooth but not completely you know it's not like it's removing every freckle which I think is nice teeth are definitely wider uh, lips are a little bit enhanced and uh, the eyes might be a little bit wider it's hard to tell let me go on to another one and I'm just kind of zipping through these, but I want to point out some of the features. Uh, this one, the whites of the eyes definitely um, improved, and lips definitely improved, skin smooth. But again, you know, you got the hair over there, and this was shot at a pretty shallow depth of field, so the hair's not going to be sharp anyway, but I think it looks really good. Also, there may be some eyebrow improvement here where it appears to be a little bit thicker and darker than it does on the left. So again, intelligent stuff. Um, what I don't know is how much of um, this is the AI skin enhancer versus the portrait enhancer. Um, again, I don't have it, so I can't use the tools. I'm just going off of the information that they sent me. Uh, but you know, I, my assumption is the tools are meant to be used in tandem so that you can uh, fully uh, you know, get the look that you want, right? So again, some of the blemishes have been reduced. Some of the lighting has been adjusted. The lips are maybe a tiny bit redder, hard to tell. The whites of the eyes, um, I don't know if that's been enhanced here. And eyebrows, I don't really know either. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, let, me, let me look at this gentleman. Um, I like this example because, um, you know, you can see, I think his eye is definitely wider, uh, but still sharp around the eye, sharp at the eyebrow, um, and yet smooth skin, right? The beard and the mustache and all that, still super sharp, skin smooth. However, not smooth so much that it's removing freckles or skin pores. So he looks human, right? I think um, with the face contouring, we're going to get into that in a second. With the face contouring and the smoothing, you could be uh, really, you could push it and end up with like all your portraits look like you're building an army of fembots, right? Um, and I don't think anybody needs an army of fembots. So, um, you know, I think this is a great before after example. You can see the lighting, I think the lips, the teeth. Um, the skin for sure has been smooth, but uh, and the color even in the in the skin and the lighting I, I think looks great. So I'm going to get a couple of other things they sent me and walk uh, walk through those as well. Okay, here's some gifts they sent me. But whenever I uh, full screen a gif for whatever reason, it doesn't like do the gif thing. So I don't know. I don't really care to be honest. But here I'm going to just click on the that's the before and there's the after. So what are the differences here? Well, let's go back. Um, eyes have gotten larger, eyes have gotten brighter, eyebrows have gotten more intense, lips have gotten redder, and there's some face contouring going on as well. If you take a look, there's the before, there's the after. Uh, face lighting or face aware lighting has been, um, been applied as well. But if you look at the, the face, definitely a little bit skinnier um, through, the, uh, through the cheekbone area. Uh, but I think it looks good. Like I said, I think you probably don't want to overdo that. Um, and, and to be clear, like I don't think that tool is designed to say, oh, I'm going to take someone who maybe has a wider face and try to make them look skinnier or slimmer. Um, I think of it, uh, it could be used for that, I guess. But 
Um, one of the things it can also be used for is if you ever shoot portraits or uh, if you're using a wide angle lens and you get a, a reasonably close shot of somebody, it'll unnaturally distort the size of the face and that would allow you to overcome that. So let me get another one of these GIFs and uh, share that as well. Okay, here's a good example of a face contouring. So there's the before and there's the after. So the face is noticeably slimmer, the eyes are larger, and let's see, the lips are brighter, the skin has been smoothed, what else? Um, eyebrows may have been enhanced a little bit, face aware light, and this has got a lot of stuff done to it, but I still think it's subtle. So there's the before, and that looks to me almost like it was shot kind of close with a wide angle lens, and so it would unnaturally distort like the width of her cheeks. Um, and that's slimmed that back down to probably what is more naturally um, what she's like, right? So I think that's done a great job. One more time, before and after. Pretty solid stuff, to be honest. I think that looks cool. And that, that's really it, you know, um, on the uh, AI Skin Enhancer and Portrait Enhancer. Skylum has announced it today. You can check out Luminar 4 at the link down below, as I said. But AI Skin Enhancer for smoothing and blemish removal and things like that. And then Portrait Enhancer for eyebrows, eyes, lips, um, well, eye enlargement and eye whitening, uh, red eye removal, face contouring. I mean, golly, it's a lot of stuff. And even though I don't necessarily shoot a lot of portraits, um, I find this very cool. It's going to be super useful for wedding photographers, uh, people that uh, do portraits, headshots, you know, senior school portraits, things like that, uh, as well as like event photographers. And there's a lot packed in here. I'm excited to get my hands on Luminar 4. I do not have it. Again, expected later this fall. You can check out more information at the link down below. And I, I hope this is a helpful little preview. As soon as I do get it and can make videos about it, believe me, I'll be covering all these new features. Don't forget there's AI sky uh, replacement and AI structure coming as well. And who knows what else they have up their sleeves. I'm looking forward to getting Luminar 4. Hope you are too. Thanks for checking out my video and hanging around. And I'll see you soon, my friends. Have a great day. Take care and adios.